Evacuating through a Schrader valve costs you time, but how much time? Today we're going to look at Schrader valves and how they impact evacuation times and what that means for your facility. We've set up a simple experiment comparing evacuation through a Schrader valve first, followed by a Schrader valve with the core removed, and then finally using our recommended solution, which is a process tube with a Hansen Quick Connect fitting installed. Let's take a look at the experiment and see what happens. Let's unpack what we just saw. The first video showing evacuation through a Schrader valve took about four minutes to reach 300 microns. By just removing the Schrader valve core, we knocked that down by about 25% to approximately three minutes. But when we moved away from the Schrader valve completely and used a process tube with the Hansen Quick Connect fitting, we were able to reach that same 300 micron level in less than one minute. Now most of the time you're going to be evacuating a circuit that's larger and more complicated than a simple cylinder like we were, so the total evacuation time is going to be longer. But using these percentages as a guide, it's clear that if you're evacuating through Schrader valves in your facility, you're losing a lot of time. Lost time can equate to lost floor space due to evacuating multiple units at once. You might need more pumps operating or more operators, and probably worst of all, maybe missing important production deadlines. A lot of our customers will choose Schrader valves intending to save money or hassle in the short term or because they fear that adding a process tube might create another uh, potential leak point. However, modern ultrasonic tube sealers like our URV20 for example all but eliminate that risk and the process takes about a second. Time is money, so if it takes up to four times longer to evacuate through a Schrader valve, how much money are we leaving on the table? Thanks for watching.